This morning, the director of the FBI visited the Omaha field office days after a search for government documents led agents to the home of former President Donald Trump. 3 News Now reporter Alex Whitney has the details for us tonight. On Monday night, the unprecedented happened. For the first time in its agency's history, the FBI conducted an authorized search on a former president, searching the Mar-a-Lago residence of former President Donald Trump. That search has sent shockwaves through the political community and even motivated some Trump supporters to threaten the officers who were involved in the search. And any threats made against law enforcement, including the men and women of the FBI, uh, as with any law enforcement agency, are, are deplorable and dangerous. FBI Director Christopher Wray made a rare visit to the Omaha field office on Wednesday, the first since former Director James Coney visited in 2014. Wray said that threats to law enforcement weren't a new development, but he did say that the number of threats is concerning and continues to grow. We have in this country had over the last few years uh, an alarming rise in violence against law enforcement. Last year, uh, there were 73 law enforcement officers around this country who were killed in the line of duty, as in murdered in the line of duty. That's the highest number since 9-11. Since the search at Mar-a-Lago, numerous conservative politicians and political pundits have called for more transparency regarding the FBI's ongoing investigation. Nebraska Senator Deb Fischer tweeted calling for more information on the raid, and she was joined by her colleague Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley, who said that a lack of transparency would further risk damaging the credibility of the FBI and Department of Justice. Ray, however, was not keen on sharing the details. Well, as I'm sure you can appreciate, that's not something that I can talk about, so I'd refer you to the department. In Omaha, Alex Whitney, 3 News Now. And officials still have not specified what documents they were looking for while searching the former president's home.